صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله عليه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهداه We are studying the book of مختصر الشمائل المحمدية that deals with the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم physical and characteristics صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم physical appearances so we're still discussing how he looked حديث narrated by Al-Bara ibn Azim, may Allah be pleased with him, and with his father. He said, I have never seen anyone endowed with a lock of hair flowing below the ears, wearing a red suit of clothes, more handsome than the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He had some hair touching his shoulders, broad-shouldered. He was neither short nor tall sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. We spoke about this in the previous episode. You can go and check it out. His hair was medium length below his ears but above his shoulders. And this shows us that there is nothing wrong in making your hair long as this is not a sunnah, by the way. This is not something that the Prophet ﷺ recommended people to do. This is part of the customs of the community. So. If you are in a community that men wear their hair in such a fashion, then you're totally more than welcome to follow suit. Ali ibn Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, described the Prophet ﷺ when he said that the Prophet ﷺ was neither tall nor short. We've gone through this. Endowed with sturdy hands and feet, stout head and limbs, Okay, what is this? The description in Arabic is شَثْنُ الْكَفَّيْنِ وَالْقَدَمَيْنِ And this means that his hands and feet were sort of uh, um, uh, big in, in structure in, in bone-wise. They were big and, 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 and not skinny, not bony. And the toes were not long. Rather, they were of average to short length. And the palm was full. So it's not skinny, it's not bony. And this is a way a man would be complimented and praised for. When you shake hands with a man and his hand is full and his grip is strong, this is something to be praised. So it had meat in it, yet... Though it was big, but at the same time it was softer than silk, as described by many of the companions. So it wasn't harsh or tough, rather it was fluffy and, and, and full of meat and big, but at the same time very soft. And the Prophet ﷺ had a stout head, and this means that his head ﷺ was big. And this is a sign of wisdom and, and smartness to the vast majority of people when you have an, a, a fair uh, um, head that was symmetric with his body. That's not something ugly, having someone's head like this and his body like that. It was symmetric with his body, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And his limbs also were large his bone structure, so his knees, his elbows, and the joints between these areas were quite uh, uh, um, considerably large, which gives the appearance of manhood and strength at the same uh, time. And he had lengthy hair on the chest, and this is called al-masrubah. Al-Masruba is the hair which men usually have on their chest that goes down to the navel. So the Prophet had this hair connected 
And this shows you how the companions, may Allah be pleased with them, knew the Prophet ﷺ to the finest of details. When you love someone, you can actually draw a portrait of them. And this is how the Prophet ﷺ was with his companions. They loved him so much, they can tell and they can describe him in such a fashion. And when the Prophet ﷺ, walked, he inclined forward as if he were descending downward slope. And we spoke about this. Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, said, I have never seen the like of him, neither before him nor after him. And this is a fact, not an exaggeration. Ali is his cousin. Ali is his son-in-law. But all those who described him, always described him to be extremely handsome and this was recognizable. Not that he had the share of beauty which Yusuf had, peace be upon him, but he was considerably handsome. And this beauty and, 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 and uh, uh, um, uh, I don't know what the noun is, handsomeness, is that when you look at him, you feel relaxed, you feel attracted. And this is how a prophet and a messenger of Allah should be. Um, the following hadith is uh, by Jabir ibn Samura. May Allah be pleased with him. He said, the prophet of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam was fami ashkalul aini man husul aqib. And I ask, this is Simak. Uh, um, he said, uh, uh, or he was asked the narrator of Jabir, what does that mean? That's why I did not translate it, because it has a different meaning to it. So what is Dali'ul Fam? Dali'ul Fam means that he has a grand and impressive mouth. So his mouth is not so tiny and delicate, and this is not a beautiful feature in men, and it's not like the jokers mouth, taking half of his face, rather it was quite considerable and is the size that was beautiful on his face. So that when he speaks, you can tell and you can understand the words that he's saying alayhi salatu wasalam. What is ashkalul ayn? Some say that ashkalul ayn is the length or the slit of the eye. So his eyes are big and slit. And some say, no, this is a form of redness in the whiteness of the eye that gives a form of beauty. As for manhus al-aqib, they say that it is endowed with a lean heel. So his feet are not bulky and fat, which may cause a person to be tired when walking. Rather, they're little in meat in them which means that this person is capable of uh, uh, striding and moving forward for long distances and Allah Azza wa knows best. هذا والله أعلم ونسبة العلم إليه أسلم وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على حبيبنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم